Okay, uh, recording. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make a soap dish real roughly. I click on new, standard IPT, double click on that just to get our basic uh, sketch thing going here. I'm going to show you a couple of ways now. Do not make it exactly like mine. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do some different things. But uh, part of this is it's wide open as to what you want it to look like. So, you know, create your own designs, create your own shapes, create your own things that, uh, that you have stick up to hold the soap up in the air. Uh, as soon as my sketch comes up here, okay, here we go. I now have Inventor 11, so it looks exactly the same as yours. So I'm, I'm just going to make a rectangle. I'm going to make mine very simple. So I'm going to make a rectangle. Now, the first thing you have to do is what? Dimension. Dimension your rectangle. So you click on here, and I'm going to make this, uh, I believe it was four and a half by five maximum. So I'm going to make this, I'll go for the maximum and make that five. And I'm going to make this 4.5. And then I click on front here just to zoom it out so I can see the whole shape. That's the whole shape. I'm just going to start with that, finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude. So I'm going to extrude it. Uh, I can't remember what the height was. Let me look at my uh, PowerPoint here. Uh, I can look at that and still record it so you can see it. Uh, maybe. But uh, okay, then I'll default to an inch and a half because I'm not sure. Okay. So I go there. So this is my block. This is not a soap dish. So the next thing I do is I need to make a cutout. So I'm going to create sketch on the front. So I click create sketch and I click on the front and I get this. All right. Now I, I do a rectangle inside of this. Okay. Oh, that was my PowerPoint. Never mind. Uh, inside of this and I'm going to make it uh, half an inch away from the edge. So that's what I did. I clicked on this line. I click on this line. I come out here. I can actually click on that and make it this, make it all the same. So I'm going to do that. A little shortcut there. Click on that line. Click on this line. If I know I want this to be the same as this one, I do that. And click on here. Click on here. There's other ways of doing this that we'll learn as we go through the year. But for now, that will work click on that okay so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna finish my sketch now how do I make an indentation I do it by clicking on extrude I click on my square but I don't want to extrude this box right here is the cut so I click on this and I cut don't want to cut an inch and a half because then that will go all the way down I'm gonna cut it one inch I'm making up numbers here because I can't remember what they are but when I do that now I've got this cutout. Now there's a command up here called fill it. Check this out. If I click on fill it, it rounds stuff. This 0.125 is an eighth of an inch. Let me show you what happens here. I click on that and that. Clicking on these outside surfaces here. I'm clicking on, did I do that right? No, I didn't. Clicking on, wait. But that's what I'm doing. I clicked on the wrong one there. So again, going fast here. Click on that and that. This is where that cube comes in real handy so I can see what I'm clicking on. Click that and that. I'm going to do the insides. But what you can see is it, it rounds them off. I can even I can click on, let me do all the ones on the bottom here first. I can also click on these edges here and that will also round. Let me just show you what this looks like when you get done. It's kind of cool. So it all, this always makes things look nicer. Always makes things look, I'm even gonna click on these tops. I don't wanna click on the bottom ones and that's why I canceled that other thing because I want to shell it here in just a second. So I'm gonna click on that and that and I'm gonna be done. And I click apply and look at what that does. See, it makes it all nice and rounded. You can make bigger fillets. If I click on this, I can make that bigger. I can make it 0.25. And let's say that's, I wanted to change these outside edges to that. Okay, I would have to get rid of those and come back. All right, 
Now, then I'm going to flip to the bottom of this and I'm going to shell it. I click on shell. I want to default, I believe I said to 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch. You never get solid plastic soap dishes. They're always like pressed out. So I do that. I want to remove the face. I click on the bottom. And what that does is that removes the bottom. And when this gets done thinking, should do it. I didn't do it. Yeah. You can see that this is what a bottom of a soap dish will look like. It's open in the bottom. So everything here is an eighth of an inch. So that's a start. Now I want something inside. I click on create sketch, click on the bottom. I'm going to click on front. So I'm looking straight at it. Now you make some designs. Let's say you wanted uh, some rectangles. None of these, I'm not going to dimension them because I don't have the time, but Let's say I wanted something like this. I can make these things, finish my sketch, extrude. Not that far though. Oops, shoot. Okay, you gotta be careful on what you're clicking on. Like I said, it's got a weird shape there, okay. Let me show you a little trick here. If you're right on the edge and nothing happens, I can't show it on this one. I'll have to do that another time. Guess got to be real careful that what you're clicking on is highlighted. And I'm going to make that 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch. You'll learn that number as you go along. And I click OK. So I've got these things here. I could, you know, fill it this thing. You know, I'm just going to do these circles just to show you. I can fill it those if I don't go too far. Ooh, might have, oh, a quarter of an inch is going to be too big. I didn't realize it was still a quarter. Yep, so that says it's too big. But I can make that 0.125. And now it says OK. Now I can see they're rounded. Now let's say I want to do something different. I'm going to delete, right click, delete that extrusion and say, yeah, I want to just start all over again. I make a new sketch in here. Here's another thing you can do, and then I'll stop. Uh, there is a text right here. If I click right there, I get this up here. I can actually type in soap and I can change the height of it. Let's make that 0.5. I think that's something. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, so I could do it even more. Right click done. I can right click and edit the text. And let's make that an inch. I can click this and center it. If I wanted to rotate it, uh, I can do that somehow. I'll have to show you. Can't see it here. There. Um, so I can do that. So I can finish my sketch, and now I can extrude the word soap, an eighth of an inch. I can not only do that, wait, if I back up one and I extrude and I do this, uh, no, okay, we'll just go with that. I can do that. I can also click on the top of these And then right click, click on properties, and I can change the color. I'll make it black. At least make it blue. Oh, I didn't get them all because I have to click and hold down the control key to get multiple letters. If I hold down the control key, then I can do multiple clicks. And I can make that blue. So I can do that. So these are some of the things you can do. So um, this is something we're going to do for a day or two. Uh, but you can do different kinds of shapes, ovals, circles, fillets, you know. But this is the basic way on how to do this. So, you know, kind of play around with this. And it's kind of interesting. And there's your soap dish.